every hospital has the basics, but what we're looking for here at this hospital is more than the basics. We're looking for everything possible to give each of our babies the best human chance at normal survival. My babies aren't gonna live. <laughs> that was my that was my big concern. Um, it was it was you know it was 27 weeks and five days on January 25th, and I honestly did not think that they would survive. I was scared to death. It was a little bit of a disappointment that they came early, but 27 weeks is not too early. Our survival rate at 27 weeks is way over 95% now. The problem is they need a lot of help. There were at least 30 people there for the birth of our triplets. Each triplet had a team of four from the NICU, so that was 12 because they had, you know, respiratory therapist and all sorts of people there. Three teams for this family. And then over the next weeks, it was a matter of making sure everything was as good as possible, getting them on feedings, getting them off of the intravenous feedings, weaning them off of the mechanical ventilators, making sure they didn't have infections or congenital problems. The nurses and the doctors, they knew exactly what they were doing. They needed to put pick lines in our babies, and that to me was terrifying, but they knew they needed it. Um, you know, just all the equipment that was that was there, I mean, it, it did, it saved our babies' lives. You, They couldn't have lived without that help, especially in the beginning. You know, they couldn't have. Thank you. I will never be able to repay you for what you did for our family. Won't. When I got married, I was very excited to have finally have kids. We, uh, I was a little bit older when we got married, so when we found out we were pregnant, we were very, very excited. Her little girl needed some very special care there for a few days. Although uh, this was a large, otherwise healthy baby, there had been an event that occurred just prior to birth that resulted in her oxygen being low. If your brain doesn't get oxygen, then it starts to become inflamed and starts to cause damage. And that happens as soon as it does, if it, as soon as it realizes it doesn't have oxygen, it will start. And so when they realized that she had it, it was probably about 20 minutes after birth. And then when they did their exam, they saw that this process was happening, her pupils weren't dilating, and that we had a high risk of brain damage going on. And for such babies, we've found that we can improve their eventual outcome higher IQ, normal in most cases, if we will cool down their body temperature. This hypothermic treatment seems to preserve the brain cells that otherwise might die in the presence of low oxygen. And so for three whole days, 72 hours, we drop the body temperature with equipment that maintains the body temperature right where we want it. I look at my baby, I would love her no matter what. She would be fabulous no matter what. But if there's something out there that can make her life a little bit better and give her the tools that she needs to meet her potential, whatever that is, I want to give her that head start. That's my job as her mother, is to give her that head start. And just eternally thankful that this was out there for her so that we, can, we could give her the best start that she, she could have.